All right, so now I'm gonna grease um, the top of these right here and on the inside on all four, just to make sure the pad slides in easily. changing rear brake pads on a 2012 Mitsubishi Galant. Um, so if you come over to this side, um, we're gonna start off by taking off these two bolts right here for the caliper. Slide those bolts out. Should have a slide pin as the bolt. Slide those out and then you can pull this um, caliper off. All right, we're gonna start off by loosening these bolts right here. We're gonna loosen these two bolts up and then you can pull them out and get your caliper off. slide pins you're gonna to want to clean up all this old grease and add some new grease to it to lubricate these slide pins so now that you've got these two bolts off you can take your caliper off and what you're gonna to want to do is use the brake caliper spreader and spread this piston back inside all right and that's how your piston should look fully pressed in now you can take these pads out. All right, so this is the old brake pads and these are the new brake pads. As you can see, they have plenty of life and these have little to no life left. All right, make sure you get all this grime and dirt off of here. All right, so now I'm gonna grease um, the top of these right here and on the inside on all four, just to make sure the pad slides in easily. These pads have built-in squealers. So when your brake pad starts getting low, they'll start squealing. That's an indication that your brake pads are getting low. So these would just slide in one way and it'll be the same for both sides. And that's how it's supposed to look like with fresh pads on. All right, so once you have these slide pins cleaned up, you're gonna wanna add some grease to it. Lubricate them just like that, and you're gonna do that to both of them, and then put them back in into the slot where they came from. All right, once those are in, you just tighten it up and you should be done. So for this rear brake job on a 2012 Mitsubishi Galant, you're gonna need a 14 millimeter socket or wrench, whatever you prefer, a brake caliper spreader, obviously your brake pads, some grease, and if, some brake cleaner if you need to clean off some uh, brake dust or anything like that. 